Wait, let me show you how to solve this type of question. We are asked to solve for A, B, and C. When this is equal to 1, this is equal to 2, and this is equal to 3, okay? First, let's make each of them fraction. To make each of them a fraction, this should be over 1, this over 1, this over 1, right? Now, let's take the inverse of each of them. So, if we take the inverse, it's going to be A plus B divided by AB, right? Is equal to 1 over 1. Because inverse of 1 over 1 is still 1 over 1. Okay? Now, similarly, for this side, we are going to have that B, of B plus C over BC is equal to 1 over 2. If we take inverse of this side, we also take the inverse of this side. Then for this, we also have that C plus A over CA is equal to 1 over 3. Okay, we can further express this as what? A over AB, right? Plus B over AB is equal to 1 over 1. Then here we can express this as B over BC plus C over BC is equal to 1 over 2. Then for this side, we have that C over CA plus A over CA is equal to 1 over 3. Now, let's solve for this side. A with cancel A, we are left with 1 over B, right? Plus B, we divide B, you are left with 1 over A is equal to 1. Okay, now here, B, we divide B, you are left with 1 over C. Plus C, we divide C, you are left with 1 over B is equal to 1 over 2. Also, for this side, you have C, we divide C, you have 1 over A, plus A, we divide A, you have 1 over C, is equal to 1 over 3. All right. Now, let's simplify all this. How? Let's assign 1 over A. Let's say 1 over A to be equal to X, and 1 over B to be equal to Y. Or let me just write it under... Let's just continue. And 1 over C to be equal to what? Z. All right? Okay. We have allocated this to them. And we are going to take note of that. Now, if we say 1 over A is equal to X, and 1 over B is equal to Y, and 1 over C is equal to Z, then we can actually say that 1 over B plus 1 over A, that is X plus Y is equal to 1, right? So we have X plus y is equal to 1. This is plus. Is equal to 1. Now, let's call this equation 1, all right? Pardon me, because I want to make use of this place very well. So, we are going to have that y plus x, which is sent as x plus y, right? x plus y is equal to 1. Let's call this equation 1, all right? Now, for this side, 1 over C is Z, right? So we have that Z plus 1 over B is Y is equal to 1 over 2. Let's call this equation 2. Okay? Now, for this side, we have that X plus, one, um, X plus Z is equal to 1 over 3. Let's call this equation 3. All right. Now, these equations are very important. And I'm going to write it somewhere just in case if I clean them later. So we have that X plus Y is equal to 1 x plus y equal to 1, z plus y equal to half, and x plus z is equal to 1 over 3. Okay, now let's continue. So we are going to add equation 1 to equation 2 and equation 3. Okay, so 1 plus 2 plus 3. Now let's do that here. Equation 1 plus equation 2 plus equation 3. 1 to 2 to 3, okay? So it's going to be what? X plus Y plus Z plus Y plus X plus Z, right? Those are uh, the left-hand side of the equation. So let me write that. X plus Y plus Z plus Y plus X plus Z is equal to 1 plus half plus 1 over 3. 1 plus half plus 1 over 3, okay? Now, we have x plus x here, which will give us 2x. We have 2x plus y plus y will give us 2y. And z plus z will give us 2z. is equal to... Now, here, if you add this, the LCM of 1, 2, 3 is what? 6. 
So since it's six, this can be written as six over six, plus this can be written as three over six, and this can be written as two over six, okay? So we have, we can factorize two out of this place. So we have two brackets, x plus y plus z is equal to, so we are going to have six plus three, which is nine, nine plus two, which is 11 over six. Now let's multiply the left-hand side of this equation and the right-hand side by half so that we can remove these two. So we have half multiply two brackets, two x plus y plus z, right? Is equal to 11 over six times half. Now these two, we uh, cancel these two and we are left with what? x plus y plus z is equal to what? 11 times one is 11, six times two is what? 12. Now, this is a very important equation, and this is will form the basic of whatever we are solving now. So, I need you to stay tuned from here now and pay attention. But before that, please subscribe to the channel and on your notification bell if this is the first time you are coming across this channel, okay? And don't forget to like, comment, and share to your friends. All right, so let's continue. Now, we call this equation four. Okay, this is time for us to start whatever we are doing. This is the most interesting aspect of this. Now, recall that x plus y is equal to 1, right? Yes, this is it. x plus y is equal to 1. So, we are going to substitute that into this equation. So, we can write that 1 plus z is equal to 11 over 12. Okay, like I said, pay attention. Now, how do we get our z from here? Remember, we are not looking for z anyway, but see how we are going to use it to get what we want. So, to get z, z will now be equal to 11 over 12 minus 1, right? And this can be written as 11 over 12 minus 12 over 12, okay? Now, 11 over 12, this is going to be 11 minus 12, which is minus 1 all over 12. So we have that z is equal to minus 1 all over 12. Okay, so that is it for the value of our z. But recall that z is also equal to what? Our z is equal to, where did we say that? Yeah, our z equal, is equal to 1 over c. Our z is equal to 1 over c. We need me to clean this side of the board. Okay, I decided to write out the whole important um, equations as we've been needing, okay? All right, the first one is that we have that z is equal to minus 1 over 12, right? So that means we can write that z is equal to minus 1 over 12. Now, also recall that from here, z is equal to 1 over c, right? So we also, we can replace this z with 1 over c is equal to minus 1 over 12. And if we do that, that means we can say, if we take the inverse of this, we say that our c is equal to minus 12. So this is the value for our c. Now let's go ahead and solve for our b and our a. Okay, back to the most important equation, like I said. Now this equation, also recall that x plus z is what? x plus z is equal to 1 over 3. So x plus z, if you are going to replace it with 1 over 3, so we are going to have from this equation now that 1 over 3, all right, plus y, right? Because we have taken x and z, plus y is equal to 11 over 12. Now, if we solve this, our y should be equal to 11 over 12 minus 1 over 3. Now, if we solve for the value of y here. Let me clean this. Let me not clean the most important. Okay. So let me repeat this equation that we are using here. That x plus y plus z is equal to 11 over 12. All right. So let me clean this now. Now we have that y is equal to 11 over 12 minus 1 over 3, right? So we have that y then is equal to, if we should solve this, this same thing as 11 over 12 minus 4 over 12, right? Now, 11 minus 4 will give us what? 7 over 12. So this implies that y is equal to 
7 over 12. Then, also recall that our y is also equal to 1 over b. That means we can say that 1 over b is also equal to 7 over 12, right? So we say that y is equal to 1 over b. So this implies that 1 over b is equal to 7 over what? 12. Now to get b, if we take the inverse of this, we are going to get that b is equal to inverse of this, which is 12 over 7. So uh, b is equal to 12 over what? 7. All right. Now let's work for c. Let's solve for c. So recall that x um, y plus z, we have solved for x plus y, solved for x plus z. So y plus z is equal to what? y plus z is equal to half. So if we write y plus z, that means it's remaining only x. x plus half, right, is equal to 11 over 12. So to get our x, is going to be 11 over 12 minus what? Half, which is same thing as 11 over 12 minus 6 over 12. Now, 11 minus 6 will give us 5 over 12. So this implies that our x is equal to 5 over 12. But recall that what? X is also equal to 1 over A. Recall that we are looking for A, B, C, not X, Y, Z. So that's why we keep taking it back to the main equation. Okay? Now, 5 over 12 is equal to X. That means we can replace our X with 1 over A. Right? So we can write that 1 over A is equal to 5 over 12. Now, to solve for A, if we take the inverse of 1 over A, it's going to be A is equal to inverse of 5 over 12 is going to be 12 over 5. Therefore, these are our values. Our A is equal to what? 12 over 5. Our B is equal to 12 over 7. And our C is equal to minus 12. Thank you for watching. Have a bright and lovely day. Bye.